Dr. Howard Hall from Morgan, North Carolina, and today we'll be discussing total laparoscopic hysterectomy utilizing the Gyrus ACMI PK cutting forceps and spatula. And just a comment about um, uh, total laparoscopic hysterectomy in general. For the patients, um, they can anticipate a resumption of normal, most normal activities within one to three weeks and can anticipate improved recovery much better than with traditional methods of hysterectomy comparable to laparoscopic supracervical hysterectomy. We actually perform uh, our TLHs on a day surgery basis. Most of our patients are discharged from the hospital within two to six hours. But unlike laparoscopic supracervical hysterectomy, patients can be confident and assured of absolutely no further uh, incidence of menstrual bleeding. What we're observing here is a total laparoscopic hysterectomy. Uh, we're using a three five millimeter port technique and uh, demonstrating use of, um, in this uh, particular portion of the case, the gyrus cutting forcep. Uh, one of the things I really like about this particular instrument is that you can take the uh, sometimes large infundibulopelvic ligaments with confidence that uh, you're not going to see bleeding, and if you ever do, you have uh, ability to take um, quick action to reassure hemostasis. Uh, the forceps also allow um, some ability to dissect, um, broaden up the broad ligament, and uh, here we see um, uh, some dissection taking place in order to identify the uh, uterine vessel at the base of the broad ligament. This particular patient has undergone a prior cesarean section, so there's a little bit of scar tissue in the vesicouterine uh, peritoneum, and now we're seeing the use of the gyrus spatula. I like the versatility of this instrument because it not only provides a, a fairly good uh, coagulation capability, but cut all at the same time. And here we see the um, forcep actually uh, create what we jokingly refer to as a, the coagulation highway across what will soon be the anterior colpotomy. And this sort of lays the foundation for the spatula then to come in and make the in actual cutting incision, exposing um, what we've used here is a co-cup on a roomy uter manipulator, um, safely and hemostatically uh, getting into the vagina. I particularly like utilizing a two-handed technique here, and you'll see uh, the opportunity to go back and forth between both the cutting forcep and the uh, spatula. Uh, as we uh, make the colpotomy and then connect the posterior colpotomy with the anterior colpotomy. One of the aspects of total laparoscopic hysterectomy that I'm particularly uh, excited about is the preservation of the pericervical ring complex, which uh, I believe will ultimately result in improved um, apical support post-hysterectomy. Here we're taking on the right side, and um, occasionally at this point run into bladder pillar bleeders. Uh, usually those are well controlled with the, the uh, spatula device. And now we're on the uh, creating our posterior colpotomy. Again, you can actually see the uterosacral ligaments entering um, well below the colpotomy site, and you can get the sense that the pericervical ring is indeed um, preserved with this technique. Various ways of closing the vaginal cuff, I utilize um, zero PDS interrupted suture with extracorporeal knot tying, and um, again, we're using a three-port technique here but I found that the extracorporeal knot tying is, um, is easier to perform and is quicker to perform and pro uh, provides uh, strong knots with adequate security of the cuff. I routinely perform diagnostic cystourethroscopies after each procedure to um, be certain that the ureters are patent. 
I find this uh, provides great reassurance both to patients, their families, particularly when they uh, are discharged from the hospital within two to four hours after their hysterectomy. Here we can see the um, good hemostasis afforded by um, this technique. From a clinician standpoint, it is uh, gratifying to provide a minimally invasive, minimal access surgery. Uh, I use three five millimeter ports for my hysterectomies. Uh, we see excellent results. Uh, it can be performed in a comparable amount of time. Typically, our average is just a little over one hour of actual surgery time. In a, our office, uh, it appears to be less burdensome from a pre-certification process compared to traditional inpatient hysterectomy options. And reimbursement, while never prompt, seems more fluid with less delays, uh, less denials for assistance fees. PK is an adaptive bipolar technology that provides for a unique delivery of energy that adjusts to changes in tissue impedance, which minimizes sticking and charring and keeps the instrument tips cooler. The PK platform offers a variety of instruments and options for your preference uh, in device selection with true bipolar cutting and confidence with vascular sealing. <laughs>